No, no, it's not. It's not an easy eye. Claudia new models doesn't have self-awareness or it's an, a small AGI. Anthropica surprised everyone a few days ago by releasing a new three models, Echo and Sonata and Opus, and claiming they are better than GPT-4. In terms of benchmark, yeah, they are very good, but benchmark is not everything. The use cases and the consumer usage is the most important thing. They claim Claudia's three models is right now far better than GBT and it have near instant results and also have a strong vision capability. Also, it's far better than the Claudia 2.1 and have better accuracy and near perfect recall. The current model that have 200k contents windows, which I think it's the best current model right now if you want to build a retriever augmented information app. They made a test with it called needle in the high stack over here or in IAH. It's basically putting a small information inside a long text window and ask it about it. And the surprisingly, it did very well. So what I wanted to do today is comparing between Cloud3 Opus and the GBT4 and see which one will be actually better in terms of results. Various questions is a mass equation that I use in every single test that I did in the channel. And this is the results of it should be 281.24, which is the closest thing. And this is will test the capability of mass for both OBIS and GPT. I'm pretty sure that GPT-4 will answer this correctly. And let's get the results. It's breaking it down. Okay. Okay. So Bryce the both are correct in terms of the answer. They both got the correct number. So it's a tie. This is the first question that I have. But GPT-4 here gave me a small note about the decimals, which Obis didn't do. I feel like it's a slightly win for GPT-4. But I will make it a tie. The second question that I have is about logic and reasoning. It's a sibling question that I use also. Linda has three sisters and Paul have four sisters. Can Linda and Paul be siblings? The correct answer should be yes, but it depends on the logic and reasoning strong in this model. Okay, so immediately GBT told me yes, and Obis told me no, that is very weird. So Linda has three sisters, which means that and the siblings are girls. So basically here, GBT4 get it correctly and he understands the potential of being these two siblings. But Obis completely out of the bark, no, they cannot be siblings, which is wrong. Actually, they should be siblings. This is what I was talking about in the beginning of the video. It's a bit different when you use it uh, in terms of consumer like me and you. But when it came to benchmark, it's completely different story. This question is about mass, but but in natural language, what is 5 to the power of 8 minus 6 to the power of 8? Double it and add 2 to the power of 3 and hit send. The correct answer should be minus 2, 5, 7, 7, 9, 7, 4 or something near it. All right. Both of the results are correct. Right now, there is another tie. I think it's in mass. Obis in the same bar of GBT4, which is pretty solid. This question is a bit tricky question. It's about logic and reasoning. It's a bus question. I ask it for every single test. A normal bus is driving at 56 miles per hour. There are three people in the back row, and there is two people in the second to last row. What's the minimum number of people in the bus? The correct answer should be six, because we just have to add the driver. And let's see, I'm pretty sure GBT will get it correct. And yeah, six people. And about what Obis? Also, it, I think it's gonna get it right. Yeah, it's right, but it took it a lot, a little bit longer. So in terms of logic and reasoning, GBT4 is much faster, but Obis is a bit slower, but it got the results that it should get. This question is about mass and natural language also. If 5,000 is more than 560 which let's send the correct answer all right is identical so right now so far gvt have slight edge in terms of answering my questions but let's stick it to the next step in the coming questions 
This question is about understanding language. The question is, John tells Mary, I finished half of the work. Mary replies, that's great, but I was hoping you could finish it all today. What does Mary mean by it? And let's see which one will get the correct answer and explain it correctly. Okay. I feel like GPT-4 is just like, yeah, it's giving me a short answer. But Claudia always give me like detailed based on the conversation. John still Mary that has finished half of its work, implying that with specific task or project he was working on. And it goes on about however she responds and explain what it said. I feel like Claudia gave a better response here, but they are both correct. Hard to say which one he went here. Both are correct, but Claudia have a better results honestly i have added this question because honestly someone mentioned out before in one of my videos why don't ask it a code questions so i'm gonna start adding code questions from here out now to the new models write a python program that print the calendar for a given month and a year it's send it's a very simple question so i took the result of gbt4 and print it out in google collab i didn't modify anything and I hit enter, I bought my year and the months and I got a calendar printed out correctly. This is just perfection over here and it's correct also. All right, so Brian's link you call Claudia Obis just did a smaller code that worked better. It, it Both of them did the same results, but GBT4 wrote more code. Uh, I think this is kind of depend on the situation if you want to run a flat uh, easy to read code you go with gbt4 but if you want to, to go with a smaller code that run faster is basically have to go with obis which is another tie i feel like they're both of them are very good but in different use cases another question is about sentiment analysis for this ticket sara i am really disappointed with my recent visit to the restaurant the service was incredibly slow and my food was cold when it's finally arrived i won't be returning anytime soon recognize the sentiments in sarah's voice which basically detecting the kind of emotion is it negative or positive let's see hit send once more always give me is a long very detailed answer but gpt4 give me like the smaller kind of tiny correct answer both of them are correct but always here give me like basically detailed what it's feel about it and break it apart based on sarah's statement the sentiment expressed it's clearly negative she expressed her disappointment with her recent experience at the restaurant which gave me the reason issue which is very good honestly then the frustration of sarah that even to you declared that you want returning okay in sentiment analysis obis is doing a fantastic job so if you're building something with sentiment analysis in your mind go with claudia obis uh, version let's do one more question this question testing the ability of each model of how aware it is of the many words that it generate how many words are in your response to this prompt okay obis give me 28 i don't know what is 28 but let's count here one two three four five six seven eight all right both of them are wrong the correct answer should be based on the generated words like i feel like this the only model that was aware about the token that it generated was mistral next and large surprisingly even gemini bro got this questions wrong so both of them losing these questions one thing before you go, I wanted to compare also the pricing. I feel like no one talking about it for some reason. I have no idea why. This is GBT4 Turbo. And the price is for 1 million tokens. Input is $10. Okay. Both of these models. And we're not talking about the vision view, preview. And the output, 1 million token, $30. Which $40 for 1 million input and output together. And this is just a lot. We are talking about GBT Turbo, which is the contest of 128k. All right, let's take a look to Claudia pricing. Heiko, which basically represent the GBT for Turbo, is 0 0.25, basically like 25 cent for million token. 
and the output is just like one dollar and 25 cents million token so all of them together is one and a half dollar for one million token input and output and even sonata which basically is a better model slightly from eco is the input of it with the output is less than 20 dollar but obis which basically the powerful and the best model which you just tested both of them is 19 dollar which has a lot honestly but i feel like 200,000 token contest window this is very good so if i am as a developer building an app i think i'm gonna avoid gbt for turbo and go with echo or sonata because both of them are much cheaper which from the pricing of gbt turbo i feel like that right now every single week we have a new model it's getting a little bit crazy borderline i feel like we should slow a bit the development of ai and if you think that obis is gbt uh, uh, is Ob um, is obis is self-aware or it's an agi it's not it's far from being agi i mean like the whole high stack test it's it no it was being tested that's why it said in the answer yeah i know i'm being tested i'm gonna create a video about how the new large language model are being built and tested that it no it's being tested basically in the future so if you want to learn what's the difference between ai and agi i really recommend that you watch this video i did a comparison between ai and agi in a very funny way and talked about what the abilities of agi will be and the technology behind it so go ahead and watch it if you want to learn the different finally thank you for watching my name is Hussam Dean or simply you can call me sam and see you in the next video.